Hi everyone, uh, before we get into the video, I just want to give you the update on the, this free moose hunt that I got on the go here. On the, I've, been, I've been promoting for the last oh, several months now. And uh, to all the non-resident, I've got uh, less than, oh it's uh, less than 300 videos left. I wanted to sell 600. And uh, I'm down to, I don't know, 2, 260, 270. So you haven't got a lot of chances left. All it is is 20 bucks for a DVD. I'll show you a list of DVDs here in a second. And uh, instead of me getting into all the details, because I know everybody's wanting to see the, see the next video that, that I'm showing here. But uh, just send me a, an email at nlmoosant at hotmail.com. And I'll fill you in with all the the little things that you need to know about the contest. So, and I want to also let all the residents know that if you guys got any any friends or relatives that was once a Newfoundland resident, they all call, they also could get in on the hunt. So, twenty bucks be a great uh, great uh, gift, great Christmas gift, I guess you'd say. Chris, Christmas is not real far around the corner. So you can buy a, a DVD and every time you buy a DVD your name goes in the draw for a free hunt here in Newfoundland. So I mean there's there's all kinds of Newfoundlanders that's moved away that would love to come back to go moose hunting but because they're, they've been gone in the province for more than six months they're not considered a resident anymore. That's that's sad but it's true. So uh, yeah so every every DVD you buy even, do, even if you already got my videos to buy a few more and just give them away for a, a Christmas gift, you know. So you could enter the name into the draw for a, a friend or a family member that you know that would love to come back to go moose hunting here in Newfoundland. So let's get back to the video and uh, let's watch uh, my good buddy Stelv Noble try to get his moose. <laughs> He's four moose now. Yes, perfect. Nice. No. We had last pick from anyway this morning. Twenty-two moose. Only new fan. Only a new. Okay, here we are with uh, Mr. Selb Noble. Still dark. Tail lights of the bike. And he's going after he got an intersex license, so we should be successful this morning. I know it's pitch black, but. Uh, it will get light, so I'll just hold on and uh, as we drive in the road, uh, we'll turn the camera back on, see if we got any luck. Get ready to go for a little walk. We're walking across there. To the top of the region here, should be able to see pretty good this morning. So, Chernobyl's getting ready. Make sure his ears are his eyes. And we'll soon be on the way. I think this is the first time that I've uh, been on a hunt with Selb. Uh, I've been with his father, Junior, and his youngest brother, Jerry, and his unforgettable uh, other brother, I should say, uh, Derek. Uh, if anyone have seen uh, my first Newfoundland video, Dick, we call him, Derek, uh, he was uh, in on one of the hunts, and uh, if anyone doesn't know Derek, he's, uh, he's quite the laugh, I guess I should say. I don't think the day is going to be any different, because uh, I think they all got a little bit of their, to moderate them, real comedians, so I think it's going to be a day that uh, I won't forget very quick. Selb knows that uh, a day out in the woods and a moose hunt is more than just pulling the trigger. It's about having a laugh as well. <laughs> the reality was he couldn't say many more words than that because he was out of breath. But I got to give him credit, I guess. He kept up uh, with us sticks fellers, as we're often called, and never complained once. He sees four moose now. Three once by and one by itself, so we're deciding which one to go for. 
I think we're going to go for a single one. Not sure it's the right idea, but we'll see. As we topped the last little hill, there was tree cows right under us, no more than 100, 125 yards away. Ready? Sun coming shooting down, boy. We didn't have much cover when it comes to uh, trees, but uh, the wind was on our side. It was blowing a pretty good breeze. It wouldn't cold, and the moose didn't have a clue we was there, and we had all day. Selb was acting pretty calm and collective, but he was just itching to get a shot. And uh, we just had to wait for the moose to present a good broadside shot, and the rest is up to Selb. The moose was uh, feeding in a big, thick holler bed, and man, it took forever. But finally, one cow started to walk up and open, so Danny made a call to her, just a grunt, just to make him stop. <laughs> yeah, the cow didn't have a clue where the sound come from, and she turned the wrong way, and just, there was no way Selk could shoot. Yes, we can shoot, because it wasn't real far away, but we wanted to make sure that we had a, a good shot on her. So we just waited, because the, the moose still didn't know where we were, or what we were. So we had lots of time to wait for a perfect shot. Finally got a shot, but the cow ran back in the holder bid, not giving himself much of a chance on his second shot. We obviously knew that he hit in the first shot, but uh, just to be safe, even though we couldn't see him very good, he gave it another one. I get some heart attack. Cocky. That was a different one running away there. Selves was down and out. First shot you struck. Here, Selves. Moose, he's a meat hunter today. Not looking for no antlers. Big, big old cow. Here he comes, the sniper. That's how it's done. Look at that. I wouldn't say. Left eat on that. See a pretty eat. Perfect, nice. No problem. Too much eating, I know. Remember that? Too hard chewing. She should be a good We had lots picked from anyway this morning. Yeah, seen how many? 22 moose. Not too bad at all. Only Newfoundland. Only in Newfoundland. We get a railroad in all the pieces. We got to clean her up now. Hope and pray we get there on bike. Seeing this was the first time we ever brought a moose out of this on a four wheeler. This could get interesting. I think that by the time the day was over, <laughs> sail top wheels crazy. We didn't kill the moose like a long ways from the road, but it was just so rough it took us forever to get to the road. This trail we got here is not, it's not a place you'd go for your Sunday afternoon drive, but it sure beats bringing your moose on your back. We finally got the moose back to the main road and it wasn't long after that we were to the truck, packed it all aboard the truck and hit her home. Another successful day. <laughs>